Mr. George, the curious little monkey, he must know what everything's about. Curious George, the curious little monkey, what's he up to? Let's find out. Curious George goes to a wedding. Some friends of mine are getting married today, George, said the man with the yellow hat, and I'm going to be their best man. So they got in their little blue car and drove to the church. And Nusher was at the front door looking worried. Our ring boy is sick. There is no one to carry the wedding ring during the ceremony. Then he turned to George. Say, how would you like to be the ring boy? It sounds like fun, George. The usher will tell you what to do, but don't get into trouble. Just wait here, George, said the usher. I've got to see the groom. We're in luck, said the usher. I found a ring boy. That's wonderful, said the groom. I have the ring right... Uh, where is the ring? Meanwhile, the organ music had begun to play. George was listening. Where was the music coming from? George was curious. He followed the sound to the front of the church. There was the organ. A woman was playing it. It had lots of keys and knobs and pedals near the floor. He pressed some keys, pulled some knobs, and strange noises came out. What are you doing here? whispered the woman. Go away. But George wanted to try all the knobs. Somebody please get this monkey, cried the organist. I'll get him, said an usher. George was scared. There was an open door. George peeked in and found himself in the groom's dressing room. The groom and the usher were still looking for the ring. There was a black top hat on the bureau. What a good place to hide. He disappeared under it. Just then, the other usher ran in, followed by the organist. Did anyone see a monkey, cried the organist. Where's the little rascal, asked the usher. There he is, said the groom. George's legs were sticking out of the top hat. The groom picked it up. There was George. We've got you now, shouted the usher. Wait, cried the groom. What's that shiny thing? It's the ring. I must have left it there. There was no time to scold George about playing the organ. It was time for the wedding. The organist left to play the wedding march. The usher and the groom left to take their place in the church. And the wedding began. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do, said the bride. The ring, please, said the minister. The groom turned around, and there was George holding a little pillow with the ring on it. The groom picked it up and put it on the bride's finger. I now pronounce you man and wife, said the minister. After the wedding, everyone went to the reception. Thanks for saving our wedding, said the groom. The bride gave George a big piece of cake. When the party was over, George and the man with the yellow hat got into their little blue car and drove home. <laughs>